We heard of one home that was on fire. There's an LA City fire ship flying through the center of your screen. He may make a drop here. This is just off Gavina Road, which is north of the 210, south of Kinger Canyon. We want to come to the right a little bit and push in right there on those high flames. Right off of that road, we'll go to SkyMap 7. When you travel in the world, by foot, by car, or by bicycle, do you see a place and wonder, what happened here? Maybe all that's there is a broke down wall, a pile of bricks, some bug eaten wood. But you know, people live there. They had lives there. The hog farm is known as something it hasn't been for 50 years. Up on a hill above a golf course in Sunland, there it sits, a decaying shell. You can see it from just about every street in town. It's always in the background, overlooking the faithful and the hopeless, in a town with evidence of repurpose. What is its repurpose? I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. Everything has changed. Door-to-door -door canvassing is out. Anything in person can be dangerous. Without face-to-face -face interaction and not actually seeing expressions up close, it alters the entire conversation. I can't just walk into a bar and ask whoever's there, hey, do you know what's going on over here? But as they say, it is what it is, so we adjust. I went up the hill looking for a story, but what we found was a burnt relic of a building. Online research has revealed that the Tongva refer to this place as Tohunga or Earth Mother. Francisco Lopez was given the land after accidentally becoming the first person to find gold in California. And it's here that Cornelius B. Johnson shot the last grizzly bear to roam Southern California. But more recently, Claude Doty had a farm here. But in the late 1960s, he became ill and needed help running his farm. Flower child guru Hugh Romney, aka Wavy Gravy, got wind of this and came to his aid with his flock of counterculture youth. In return, they could live freely and partake in what was considered to be illegal or illicit. There was a lot of drugs at that time, a lot of acid, and, you know, weed was the least of their problems. They got lost up here is what happened. They probably somebody sent them up here for some reason. Because there was a lot of, you know, I'm sure there was a lot of weed and there was a lot of bathtub prank. And no sooner than Hugh and company were there, they packed their magic bus and hit the road. They even took the name as they christened themselves the Hog Farm Commune. But what happened to the farm after they left? Nobody wants to talk about it. Maybe it was the rumors of swingers parties in the dome. Those who knew and took part didn't want to conjure it back to existence. I guess better to leave some things in the past. Years go by between significant events on the land. 
decades even, until 2017, when the Creek wildfire took the area and 63 structures in total. I was on my way to work that morning for just a typical day of work, and I heard the radio traffic. Our resources were heavily already engaged in the fire and had already been dispatched. Um, so the fire was raging out of control. While we were down there, visibility was difficult. Uh, ash and smoke was being blown everywhere. Not only did we have that fire raging, but we also had an incident within an incident where one of our dozers rolled off the hill and injured one of our dozer operators. So it was, it was a significant incident with potential for up to 2,500 homes to be destroyed. Uh, as you mentioned, the, the hog farm, which I am not familiar with, uh, was in the footprint. There's really nothing left there but an imprint of past lives left behind for a curious onlooker to ponder over. The hog farm is an example of what we are, a mess we have created by our existence. Are we the hogs on the hill? <laughs>